okay so we already understand how to how can we use the persistent volume and persistent data in docker scenario now i will show you how how how, how can you use uh, volume that type of uh, your website type of data or any configuration data if that loss you can recover so this type of scenario how can we use so for this type of practice i need to create a bs code project so i copy it online so this type of command i also save it suppose in my desktop and write this is imp important docker dot txt okay i already saved this file okay so i create a project in my solution folder so in my uh, name i create a new folder that is website okay so i create a folder website and my bs code file open uh, my name and website folder i created a website yes i trust okay so index dot html dot html and also create another file about dot html okay so i created a two html page so i create some uh, h1 tag uh, this is home page and write the document is home and about page i write a very basic context i say about us about us page okay so here i create h1 tag about us page about us page okay so i create two html file and inside the terminal i want to get the location that is in linux scenario use pwd and here is my complete location so if i uh, we know our nginx already running in port 8080 i create another nginx so i create and open another file that is our uh, file open desktop text file okay so i created uh, another nginx for this website hyphen d hyphen p and you know i now learn how to write multi-line hyphen port here i write volume okay so if i go to the browser and the uh, nginx docker nginx or without any no we know nginx uh, uh, stored their hyphen location hyphen b so first of all i add my first portion is your host machine location or your docker uh, volume location i use another volume my and we know the nginx where they store their data that is user share nginx and html okay so i created a volume and open the port is uh, 8082 okay so here i create a another container for nginx and we use the volume mount volume that means your nginx html is uh, you uh, same as my this folder okay so i copy it and 
in my terminal I paste it you see 8082 port another container is open if I go localhost 8082 sorry you see this is home page and I write about dot HTML it's showing my page okay if I delete this container not any issue arise cause why there, there is not creating any issue cause we are mounting a volume uh, location for their HTML page HTML work if I run docker uh, ps docker ps and undefined genop i forget to define any name if i drop the container docker rm hyphen a and i deleted the image but you if i go to their our website location the html page is already present there cause docker only deleted their container not my content so here what i do there i assign a volume location for their because doc uh, nginx they stored their all html file inside the HTML, uh, inside the html folder so i tell docker your this location basically is my this location okay so they get data from this location from using the mounting okay so when any type of ST, uh, any type of web related content which if uh, deleted not any huge complex problem errors this type of scenario we use the this type of volume location mount okay or uh, when you are using in persistent data then best scenario is use docker volume so i again assign a name name my nginx latest okay so again i open it and clear it and paste it again so what is the problem and the problem is multi-line syntax okay docker ps my nginx is running at 0 8 2 you see about page if i enter the machine docker d o c k e r e x e c hyphen i t then my container name latest slash bin bash if i go to cd etc sorry uh, user share nginx html sorry cd ed not cd okay if i see the ls you see my about an html page also showing that if you update this page if i modify the about dot suppose that is the name is uh, contact okay so i rename it contact and again you ls you see the contact html page is present there okay so you can in your bind mount location you are using uh, you are changing your host machine but impact come in the in your container machine cause these we bind mounted that is uh, a replication uh, one type of that means your this location every content is basically my this location content and where i write this line info inside my uh, inside my when i uh, creating any container then i write the volume mount okay so i think now you understand properly what type of volume volume use what type of scenario again i describe if you are uh, if, if your data is persistent data then use docker volume if your data is uh, 
uh, your website type of data any configuration data uh, if they uh, if uh, they delay that is a huge problem is not arise you can recover within a some second or minute then this type of scenario is best solution is use the bind mount type OA okay so another OA is also present that is anonymous and I th I not like use this type of anonymous type scenario my uh, these two scenario is the best example when you are using docker in your any type of development environment or any production server okay i think now you can properly understanding what is the docker volume and how to use in your application and when you are free sometime then please read the uh, document uh, docker volume and here you get some more information that is the bind mount which already used and you understand this the mounting hyphen b or hyphen hyphen volume and that now if you read this document you can easily understand and and your develop your concept also more built okay so i think you can understand docker scenario properly and uh, next video for next uh, before starting docker network i am starting to develop a spinet code application and start another dockerized portion okay so see you bye bye